welcome to you in my channel of smart Polost. in this tutorials it is a series of lecture video of eight here i will discuss the about the main coding part how to train neural networks using particle swamp optimizations i will discuss here the things with the matlab codings whatever i did in the academic projects if you want the academic project of this coding as well as this project you can take i will give you 100 percent results with the valid data sets and all other information with the articles so let's get started with the particle sum optimizations and its neural network trainings here i will before starting the things i will tell you if you not watch my the video in this series from first please watch all the videos until the last then we will get the complete idea about the particles on optimizations and this neural network trainings okay so in this to perform these things i used set of training function learning function in neural networks as well as i used 10 data sets i will show you only one code for particles on optimizations in banknote data sets in this way also I have trained the data sets for train number of 10, 10, 0, 10 data sets I give experiments and this experiment it takes too much time. It is dependent upon your PC configurations and the machine configurations but don't worry it will take time but it will run. But if you have good configurations of the PC or the desktop you will uh, we will uh, complete the things within 20 minutes neither in the traditional PC 4 GB RAM okay and uh, i3 processors or i5 processor it will take to train the data like 20 minutes to 30 minutes so it is a time consuming project and is a very enormous trending subject if you have the idea then you are the best so this code is verified modified and written by me okay and using only one functions my functions so in this coding i will not show you all the parts because some of the copy paste restrictions that you will do that's why i will hide some of the loops and some of the things because it is a restricted from academic but if you want these things in the academic project i will give you with some conditions whole coding thing data sets and other relevant information regarding pp and ppt and thesis also so let's start it with the these things clear clcm clearing alls take for timing close alls and clear alls and rank defaults i'm taking now i'm initializing the parameters the parameters here c1 i take as a 1.6 c to 1.7 initial initial iterations were 0 0.9 final iterations weight 0 0.9 i will tell you another thing so why i take this variable because in the behind they have reasons number of experiment after the experiment i conclude i come to the decisions on this parametric value i will show you all the details about in the next lecture videos and the iterations of one maximum iteration of 100 tolerance one and particle population one and n is equal to five i mean number of the variable uh, variable in the objective functions now here i discuss the construction coefficient as i discussed in the video lecture of three construction coefficients well kafka is equal to one five one two point zero five five two two point zero five five one is five one plus five two and size i mean the construction coefficient size we are evaluating by these equations construction coefficients after that we are taking the data by which data we want to train in particle sum optimizations the data set is banknote data sets where sheet one it takes the input data sheet two takes output data and here is the descriptions about the input and output data to recognize in MATLAB. and we are using here transformations of the input and output data targets now after that calculate uh, calculate the attribute variable in the length uh, on the target is here's values here calculating the length of the input and uh, from o, o it is the target of inputs used feed forward neural networks i'm using feed forward neural network to train the data sets 
where the network configurations need input targets and kk is the parameter of the value is the dependent upon on this m into n into n into o it is already defined before now in the next session initialize the domains from minus 1.5 to 1.5 i am initialized the domain series in the domain i initialize the domains here like this way from g is equal to 1 to kk this kk value is evaluated from here lower bound is minus 1.6 and that's it the upper bound is minus 1.6 now i create a particle to random uh, populations i'm creating the particle random populations like x i j lower bound plus rent upper bound minus lower bounds of like this this is the particle random populations it's about so from here it is running the main codes in the, from running max runs and for run is equal to one to max runs is doing the things from here the main code is starting and i here calling the functions and the functions is it will be minimized to some of the thing i will not show you here so let me minimize the for loop okay i will not show this much of line to you i will directly go to the line 174 174 lines inside here all of the things is going okay and to the very vital part i will not show you for reading the function Inside words, what's happened? Fitness value, value operation change. What are the other differences going with the very precision manners? After that, we are getting the final network model here. After getting the final network models here, we are doing some operations. And this is doing the operations here with the feed forward networks and F is equal to configure your feed forward networks and target values also given. And A, B will calculate the minimum of the voice base. And x in zero is calculating the x based of the b for all the values and k is equal to k zero. I'm taking the follow for one to n and j is equal to one to m, k is equal to k plus one, x i is equal to of this. And this is another follow which starts again. This follows will calculate uh, the value of x l and x a x b of one to like this. And another follow is incremented for this. So here in the need for, for our networks, here's the weight, how the weight is updated here, how the second layer weight to the updated is here, and for uh, bias also updated is here, is given in these equations. But the inner thing is going inside there. It is just the small things, whatever I discuss here, but the inner thing is already inside there. And it is the calculations of the mean square errors after that. In the below of the part, I'm calculating the mean square error, training the networks, and I'm training the data and other things, whatever the other things, and the lots of the things I'm doing inside the data. But due to some of the restrictions, I will not show you. With some conditions, I can give you, but with some special request only. So let me run the programs and let me run the codes. So Save with control list, go to the editors, run. It will take too much time to run the programs. Yeah, let's see. It is just started. The program is running. It will evaluate the fitness value, evaluation, evaluation and based functions value. The program is just started. The iterations made specifically an objective valuable function is calculated like this way. Okay, let takes this times will takes times in between takes times. Let's discuss with the other things. In this thing, I'm doing whatever the things uh, also makes the videos number of uh, let's just minimizing the things now let me discuss some of the basic things to you that my all the things is ready to hear it is all about project related I write the 
thesis, PPT, all other the things and very soon I'm going to publish it in the papers. So if you want the code, you can take it and reveal it all other the paper regarding IEEE Spingers and SLVerse publications paper I will give you, whatever my sir will suggest me, I will give you. That you can improve it by from your sides if possible. If you learn the codes from here, you can, I will give you. And the regarding pictures, whatever the picture I used here, I will give you. Whatever the picture I will use here in this thesis project, I will give you all the things. Don't worry. But listen, all the visual please words, watch and with very carefully and try to understand all the things. Yeah. Those are the data sets I used and each data set I have their personal personal coding. Avalon data set, Onurand, Banknote, Corpuscopic, April Ticking, Class, HDRU2, Iris, Liver Disorder and Wine data sets. Data functions value, what is this data function value I will show you in the maybe in this next slides and data output results also I will show you. Don't worry. This is the as about results. What are the results? It stores all the results is here, and the, this is pictures and uh, something. It is about thesis. Okay. Program is still now ongoing because it is the vast data sets. That's why it will takes times. Okay, after that, whatever the result will come, I will discuss with you one by one. Be careful whenever when I am discussing all the results regarding this. Be careful and uh, very carefully watch and uh, try to listen. So if you are not remembering the things, then uh, note it down and try to implement uh, from the, your side. Might be possible that you will get the better result rather than me. Now till now it is not completed, it is doing operations and all the things. Yeah. So from this code, whatever I am getting, I am running and I am getting the functional values. Uh, the minimum functional values is in objective functional values is like this. For only banknote data sets. Where, uh, where in the neural network, the weight and bias observation change is going through using the particle sum optimizations. How the particle sum optimization changes its position as a velocity and velocity. This concept, exact same concept, is applicable in this code. By using this concept, the um, uh, the particles or the inner neural networks, the each of the input are changing their input and sorry, each of the input are changing their weight and bias values like this. And this program takes 244 seconds. It is a very easy. If you went for colposcopic and if you take data set, it will take like 30 minutes. So final neural model is like this, where mean square error is 0 0.06, and training network is ready for use. I mean all the trains. For testing purpose, I used 1000 number of data instance. The data sets values is like this, where the data set actual values is one. Actual output is one. The training data uh, uh, actual output is one that it is getting. And the trained network output error in percentage when after the training all the data with the bank note, my network is shows that my network percentage error in particle sum optimization is in particle sum optimization in 12.5263 from there the other of the few of the graph is plotted i mean plotted it now now let me discuss about the graph 
now it is the about the network diagrams it is about the network diagrams let's say in the networks four input is coming each of the input pattern is going through a hidden layer networks only one hidden layer networks and hidden layer networks have five neurons in the five neurons going to the output sections output value is evaluated by using purely functions and this output value is storing in the outputs now come to the discussions about convergence plot in the convergence plot i am trying to plot it in the con also, um, objective functions value for each iterations as the iterations goes see the objective values is starting from here now it is fall down and it is going to 0 0 0 and it is comes to here it is very close to 0 let's see the objective function value 0 0.0616 it is the objective function value of my experiments for banknote data sets it is the convergence plot known as a convergence plot now another thing is to come here plot regressions what is plot regressions in this plot regressions it will show you that already i will show you that in the neural network training when using the neural network toolbox when you are using the to train the data it skip better very better performance but in this case it will not gives too much uh, better results but this result is very good rather than other data results it is perfection about 88 percent where it's the in targeted value is this and targeted value is this and the fitted line will be the blue lines but i fitted lines i mean so i feed the line in the blue lines but it will be actually in the dotted lines and dotted sorry my training data line is the fitted line uh, which is uh, represented here dotted and it will be actually in the blue lines so it will not very coincide but it is very closed so it will takes to be considered whatever the performance i will get okay now from the data set also i will discover some of the other things my performance my performance in the validation performance is 0 0.0063 5 w1 it is my validation performance i got in the epoch of 22 now in the training states i'm getting the gradients mutations up like this and error histograms it is the diagrams about it is creating the error history it is a diagram about how much data you are using for training testing and validations it will describe about the things here with the pictorial diagrams in the pictorial diagram this much data set blue lines i'm using for testings green line i used for validations and red line i used for testings and the orange line is a zero error bar in this error histogram diagrams and the regressions will be calculated from here automatically let's see the regressions regressions is like this it is the regressions of these data sets i think you understand very well close me all the things this is the basic code about uh, not basic code is the extreme code where i hide most of the parts that i will not uh, not able to show you some of the restrictions is there from academic sections so hopefully you understands you understand so very well about the things okay you understand very well about the things for any query any questions you can uh, Put your comment in the comment section box below and i would request you please subscribe my channels like my videos share my videos and put some comments to motivate myself to create some of the videos like this to today's video is this much uh, that's enough in the next video i will show you in the thesis thesis and reading my result details my performance and other details also whatever i got the result with some benchmark functions it is good bad or how i can improve my results regarding the details i will show you in my thesis so let's come here let's come to the next video thank you